Hello, hello guys. By the time you see this, little man has already made his arrival. So I hope you're following me over on Instagram. That's where all the first pictures and updates will be shared. I'm pre-filming this so I can have a teeny tiny maternity leave. But today we're talking postpartum essentials and everything I bought for my postpartum recovery. And if you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Elena. And with my first I definitely had a little bit of a rough recovery. It took me a little bit longer. I had what doctors told me was a severe three tear. Now, obviously I hope I don't have that again, but to be honest, I am preparing myself for that. Do I wish that on myself or on you? Heck no. However, if it does happen, you will get through it and it does get better even if it feels like it's not. But just a little side note, um, I did not personally bring any of this to the hospital and I'm not doing so. Again, the hospital has and should provide everything that you need. And if they don't have something um, that you would like in that moment, go ahead and ask because I was not originally provided um, certain things that I should have been and I wish I would have asked for them sooner. Once I got home from the hospital and stopped using all their products, I started using um, the Always Discreet diapers. There's no other good word for them. So I used these for the first couple days um, back at home when the bleeding was significant, when I was bleeding a lot. Once I kind of saw that dissipate a little bit. I moved on to these Freedom Mom disposable underwear. I love these favorite, favorite things ever. Actually, I'm gonna pop this open and show you one really quick. They're a super soft gray material and they just, I don't know, they make you feel a little bit cuter during that stage, <laughs> if you can feel cute at all. Um, but this is what they look like and I loved them. It is important to note though that these are literally just postpartum underwear. So you do need some pads and you know go bigger at least in my experience um at least in my experience let's just put it that way um wings no wings whatever you want i guess i picked up wings i think i meant to not but i went with the purple heavy flow always and then once things die down a little bit <laughs> then i'll move on to the orange ones they're a little smaller and then uh, eventually you know a panty liner in the future um, now, whether you go with the diaper route or the disposable underwear and a pad route, you will most likely want some tux pads. These were my buddies. So these are tux pads. They're medicated cooling pads. Um, they're also used for hemorrhoids, but they really do just kind of help cool off everything down there, make it feel a little bit, a little squidgy better. <laughs> um, some people also like Dermaplast, which is another thing. That one is a spray. So a lot of people will line these up on your um, pad or your diaper, line up your tux pads and then spray Dermaplast. I personally didn't see a difference with Dermaplast, but to heat to each their own. Um, the hospital will give you Dermaplast, so I didn't purchase it. I just figured I'll take it from them. Um, and if I like it this time, I will purchase some more. You know, Amazon overnight is just the greatest thing ever. Um, but I'm assuming I'll just be using tux pads again. Um, Freedom Mom also makes a perineal healing foam that I used last time. I did enjoy that. I just didn't feel like I needed all of the products and all of the things. There are a ton on the market. Um, but you will want something along the lines of tux pads or dermaplast, um, especially if you tear, tear, tear it all probably. I don't know. Like I said, I'm speaking from a three. A uh, Freedom Mom also makes these instant um, cooling pads. So this is a pad in itself and you crack them and they get cold. Now this, I was gifted a pack of these, but I was like two or three weeks postpartum at that point. Um, so like I didn't use it in the thick of it, but I did like them when I used them, if that makes sense. Um, I do have some of these. I was gifted them from mom who didn't finish her pack. So I figured I would give them a go again this time around. So that is kind of on the pad front <laughs> there. There are some other items I really think are essential, which a peri bottle is key. A peri bottle is key. Um, this is the Freedom Mom one. It's like 
I think everyone's favorite on the internet these days, well, actually for the past couple years. The hospital does give you one. It is just a little different. So this is the Freedom Mob one. Um, it has the long tube and then it obviously turns. So this just kind of helps you get up in there while you're sitting. It's a little easier to use than the hospital one. Honestly, um, a lot of people bring this one to the hospital because of that, but I didn't really mind the one they give you. Um, while it's at the hospital because the the toilet has like that little opening like the little lip is open in the front so I felt like it was easier to squeeze back but once I got home I definitely preferred this one and a peri bottle is essentially used to help you stay clean down there because you know you're not going to be wiping essentially and doing all of that um so you can kind of squirt and rinse off a lot of moms, while they are peeing, it stings. So you can squirt some water as you're going just to alleviate that pain. Um, to be honest, I didn't have any stinging while I was peeing, which um, a lot of my friends are like, what? Like, what the heck? Um, mine was just more pain in the other direction, if that makes any sense. So I used this mainly for cleanliness um, for quite some time, I'm not gonna lie. Um, for quite some time. And if you have a severe tear, I would highly, highly suggest getting a second one. Um, obviously, you can use the one from the hospital and one of these. The reason being is because I had such such pain um, and I didn't want to wipe for so long. <laughs> And I could essentially do like a double action thing. So I'd have one peri bottle with some warm water and one with some warm soapy water. I would use one with the soapy water and then I'd use the other one with the clean water to rinse. Not only would I just do that in the toilet, like I'd literally bring these into the shower um, and do it that way with my two bottle <laughs> process. And one thing that I loved <laughs> and I wish I had bought sooner was a sits bath. It's something that I had heard of, but not a ton of people think it's necessary. I think the more severe tear, the more it is necessary. This um, helps relieve some pain and achiness and also is a way to keep you clean. And I honestly like was like, I don't need that. I don't need that for a couple weeks. And then all of a sudden I said, you know what? I'm still in pain. Like Amazon, we're overnighting. So this is a sits bath. This is literally the cheapest one you can buy. Um, nothing fancy. You can buy fancier ones if you would like. It folds flat, but you can push it down. This one's never been pushed down. It is brand new. There we go. <laughs> um, you can push it down so it's like this and you fill it up with warm water or however hot or cold you want it and actually sits down in your toilet bowl. So then you're going to sit in there and it just helps, like I said, keep, keep you clean. And the warm water just helps you heal down there. Keep everything kind of moisturized and like not dry, essentially. Um, in this, you can get so many different types of sits, bath, salts, um, liquids, different things to um, help down there. You just want to make sure it is made for postpartum. You don't want anything with like a crazy amount of fragrance or chemicals or something. You want just very clean ingredients and things that you know are going to help heal you. Um, Freedom Mom used to make a sits bath little fizzy tablet. That was my absolute favorite. I could not find it this time. So if you find that, get it. But I couldn't find it on the internet or anywhere. So what I bought was just some Dr. Teal's Epsom salts. This one has aloe and witch hazel, which are two things that I know are safe and good for down there postpartum. And I found doing a sits bath like this really did help with like inflammation and just general soreness. There are other things you can buy like um, a donut pillow so you're not like sitting on your butt. I never felt the need for that. I would just get a normal pillow or honestly the boppy pillow kind of works for that. <laughs> um, you can also get like the postpartum belly bands to like keep you feeling up in there tight. I never got those. I didn't feel like it was necessary for me, um, but that could be something you could be interested in. And then of course there are a slew of things for breastfeeding because I, I would I would consider that um, postpartum, but that would be a whole nother video if we got into breastfeeding. Um, 
but there are a couple things that I wanted to mention that really helped me during postpartum that I kind of had to figure out. And one was clothing. When I say clothing, I just mean in those first couple weeks, maybe month ish that you know, you're mainly home. You might be starting to figure out breastfeeding. Um, you know, you don't have a ton of visitors. You're not really going out and about. What helped me um, while I was figuring out motherhood was having some comfy items, but that were super functional. So right off the bat, um, like a bralette that is easy to pull up or down if you're nursing. That's actually what I labored in and what I will be laboring in again. I'll pop a picture up on the screen of the one I like. It's currently my hospital bag, um, but it is the Jockey brand. You can get it from Target. Super soft, a little bit padded. I also really liked the Auden like sports bra um, bra. It is a nursing bra, a little bit padded. And those are the two that like were my staples. But I essentially would wear one of those bras and my disposable underwear and then a robe or a flannel if my robe was dirty or something. Um, so just something to like have over me and be warm and comfy. I would not really get fully dressed. That was just how I was week one and two. Now going into like week three, four, whatever, I was still wanting to be comfy. Um, and I was in like loose pants, which I honestly didn't have many. I didn't have many. I had like my maternity stuff, but it wasn't, fit and right anymore. Um, so this time around, I made sure that I have two or three really, really comfy pajamas <laughs> that have pockets. So you want them to have two things. You want them to be nursing friendly if you plan to nurse, obviously, and then um, pockets because I didn't realize how key pockets were until I was in the moment because you're always going to have a baby and you're most likely gonna have your water. So your phone, the binky, whatever else you need goes in those pockets. So whether it's sweatpants or shorts or whatever, I would highly suggest getting something with pockets or maybe maybe just a robe with pockets if you're wanting to prolong that robe lifespan. So that all kind of seems common sense, but I was not set up um, with those items <laughs> at the beginning. And so I was like, ah, I need something to wear. Like I'm wearing the same thing all the time. And if you're like me and you have a spit uppy baby and your laundry just goes like, just explodes, then you need some options. Um, the only other thing that I was thinking about that I wanna mention is snacks <laughs> um, or a water jug. I, my water jug's way over there. Guys, I wish I could show you. You've seen it if you know me. You should subscribe if you don't. Um, however, a water jug to make sure you stay hydrated, whether you're breastfeeding or not so you can heal. Um, you can also just use the hospital one. I love the hospital one and I use the hospital um, water jug for honestly, probably two months after um, birth. And my husband was like, uh, are you ever gonna like switch back to your normal one? And I said, yeah, whenever I stop feeling like a patient. So I used that until I stopped feeling like a patient, which whew, took a while with my recovery, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so water jug, didn't need to have that tangent. But then some snacks, some healthy snacks. Little Chomp meat sticks are good. Um, cheese sticks are good, like quick protein. Um, lactation cookies, ooh, mm, yum. I do, I don't remember the brand. I'll pop up on the screen. You can get it at Target once again um, or on Amazon. I did like these lactation cookies the first time around. And then once I had a little more time, I would bake my own lactation cookies. You can get fancy with like brewer, brewer's yeast and like all these different ingredients that could help. Or even just a simple like peanut butter oatmeal cookie can help. The peanut butter is bringing you some calories and some um, protein and the oatmeal is supposed to help with milk supply. Um, so yeah, stocking up an oatmeal in general. And also, um, what else did I like snack wise? I really like these little coconut nut clusters. They have like pumpkin seeds and they were, they were sweet, but also, um, had protein and they were just kind of like a nice little munchy snack when I wasn't hungry, but I knew I needed to eat. I know, that is a symptom that some of my friends actually had that they had absolutely no appetite. And like, even when they were like, I should eat, they just had no appetite, didn't want to eat. And that can really, um, I don't know, it hurts my mood when I'm hungry. <laughs> it can also hurt your milk supply, um, which is also a nice thing to mention to your partner. Like, hey, 
can you like remind me to eat? Um, that was one thing that my husband did unintentionally. And I think that's because in the hospital, our nurses were so good about it. I mean, every time they'd come in, they're like, when's the last time you ate? Have you had water? You know, they're trying to keep up with me on that front too and making sure that I remember because so much is going on, not only those first couple of days, but like the first couple of weeks, you're figuring out schedules and things. Trust me, you know how much and when that baby ate, but when did you eat? Was it three days ago? Literally gets that crazy. <laughs> so maybe have your partner like check in on you. But yeah, that was a long, long, long tangent. That's everything I bought for postpartum and I feel like I'm pretty well prepared this time, at least like physically, not physically, um, things wise, what is the word I'm trying to use? I don't know the word. If you know the, what I'm trying to say, put it down below because I clearly don't. So I, I'm ready like with all of my essentials. We'll just see if I'm ready mentally. <laughs> So we'll see how all that goes. Please subscribe so you can keep following our journey. Um, right now, I am just posting some pre-filmed content for you guys um, just for a couple weeks. And then we'll get into newborn life. And of course, I have my birth vlog and my birth story and all of that. I'll link um, my pregnancy playlist. If you are pregnant, if you are nesting, I will list that up above in the cards and down in the description if you want to check those out. So I will see you guys all next time and have a nice day. Bye guys.